In this video, I will illustrate why the Euler's formula holds for a pyramid. The Euler's formula for any polyhedron, yeah? So a pyramid is a polyhedron. So the formula is E plus two equals to F plus B. So what are these variables? So E is the number of edges, F is the number of faces, and V is the number of vertices. Now we'll illustrate why this formula works for an octagonal pyramid. That means a pyramid that has a base that has eight sides. All right, so it's easier to see using a two-dimensional representation, which is actually a net. So if we unfold all the lateral faces and open it up, you will see this, right? So one base plus eight lateral faces. So let's see why the formula holds. Now let's begin one edge on the face actually corresponds to one lateral face. So if you have a two edges, then you have two lateral faces. So you will see three edges corresponds to three lateral faces. We can continue six, seven, eight, right? So there are eight sides for a octagon. That means that we will have eight lateral faces for the octagonal pyramid. All right, so now let's take a look at the lateral edges. Actually, this first edge it corresponds to one vertex on the base. Although the edge is written as if there are two edges, but really it's only one. If you were to fold it, it's only one edge. Does it make sense? All right. Now the second edge will correspond to a second vertex on the base. So likewise, three lateral edges will correspond to three vertices on the base. The four, fifth, six, seven, and eight. So now we have eight lateral edges corresponding to eight vertices on the base. Now if we were to look at the E and F plus V, we'll see that there are 16 edges so far, and we have eight lateral faces and eight vertices. Can we have an equation right now? Not yet. Why? Because there are actually one more face. Where is that? The base, right? So we really actually have eight plus one faces. What about the vertices? Is that all? Is there eight? Can you think of one more? There is one more vertex at the top. We call it apex. So if you will fold all the eight lateral phases and you view it from the top, then the apex is right in the center. All right, that's the top view. Now, so far, 16, Edges doesn't correspond to nine faces plus nine vertices. So what do we need to add in order to make both sides equal? So we need to add a two. That's why the formula is E plus two equals to F plus B. So I hope now you see why that is the two, right? Now we have Come up with a formula. We have illustrated the Euler's formula using an eight sided pyramid. Can okay, you do it for an n sided pyramid? How? So essentially, the A is, becomes an N because instead of eight sided, you have n sided. So if you think about it, if you have an n sided pyramid, you will have n edges. Why? Because the base has, is an n-sided polygons. So you got eight edges on the base and there's also eight lateral edges. So that's why the number of edges is 2n. Now number of faces is n lateral faces plus one base. 
number of vertices, there are n vertices on the base plus one more apex on top. So I hope this helps. All right. With that, have fun with geometry.